Hello everyone, it's Sinister Mix here, welcome to a brand new video. And in today's video, we are going to go through the questionnaire that I left for you guys, talking about The Sims 4, where you think the franchise is going, what you think needs to be changed in The Sims 4 for you to change your mind about it, and if you like it, if you don't like it, and everything in between. But before we jump into that, of course, as always, if you want to support me, leave a like to this video, subscribe to my channel, because it really, really helps me out, and it helps this video go around all of YouTube, so the more people see it. But basically, a few weeks ago, I asked you to reply to a questionnaire. I asked you here, I asked on Twitter, and I think also on Instagram. And I had a couple of questions and it was open-ended just to have your own opinions about The Sims 4, where you think it's the game is going, where you think it could go in the future, what you think needs to change, if you like the game or not. So now we are going through all of these replies. And the first question is, do you like The Sims 4 as it stands right now in the franchise? I think this is a fair question. Do you like the game or not? Do you like it? compared to the other games in the franchise specifically. And we have three options is yes I do, this one is in blue, and two people straight up said yes. Yes, I like The Sims 4 and that's fair. Then we have one person reply I'm unsure. 10 people said straight up no, I don't. I don't like The Sims 4 as it is right now. And 38, which is obviously the majority of people, said they do like The Sims 4, but it could definitely have some improvements. And I think that was obviously the bigger category of the four. I was, on, I'm basically also on the same boat, and I think most people that play The Sims 4 are on the same boat as well. So I wasn't really shocked with this answer. Now the second question is where I left it open-ended for you to give me all your ideas and information, and it's what's something that you like to see implemented in the game. It could be anything from a new feature to pack ideas to game-changing additions. I wanted to be as thorough as possible with your responses. I think, generally speaking, as for these responses, I found three main things that people want. Obviously, the first one is fixing things and bugs. That's like the general feeling that I got from these replies. Everybody's like, yeah, fix this or fix these bugs or fix every bug that is in the game. I also have seen a lot of talk about more in-depth customization of anything from Sims to houses to gameplay to other things and features in the game. And I think the third general response was more in-depth gameplay. For example, this reply says, I would love aliens to be fixed and bands to be added, so we got new content, obviously ideas, uh, but also the aliens to be fixed, which is something that I see a few people talk about as well. But above all, I would like them to fix the many bugs the game has, so this is straight up just asking for bugs fixes. Here is, I really want them to fix the smooth lighting movement, which has been broken for years, and yes, that is a thing that actually has, still has issues, I think. And as well here, they also need to finish wants, fears, likes and dislikes, because that is something that they're lacking of. They added them, what was it, with ice queers or before that even, and then they never pick them back up. Like, they just exist. But not for every activity, but also for some of them. And also some things are missing, but some of things are not. And I'm like, either we, like, make it complete <laughs> or we take it out of the game. We don't need a half done thing. Again, going back to what I think I saw in general for new content ideas that I've seen, a lot of people were asking for bands, which is something that I also have been asking for a while and I know a lot of people will be talking about. We've seen a few people talk about fairies, uh, disabilities to be added to The Sims, preteens as a new life stage, better romance hotels and hobbies. For example, here is the thing I want the most is a setting to completely turn off the system with how Sims gain and lose fat and muscle. That's interesting to see because it's not something that a lot of people are talking about, but when you're talking about a game that has so much customization for your characters, that's something that is definitely missing and could be definitely added as an expansion on the gameplay itself. 
I've seen a lot of people say this, list of packs that could be included are probably endless, but a send out I'd say more hobbies and different skills. More musical skills, drum, bass, band features, as well as expanding on existing features more, owning a food truck, hotels, operating big bed and breakfast, expanding on hidden words like six sim or swimming blade, and tying them more into gameplay and giving them a purpose. I really like the idea especially of making the, the hidden words better, because as of right now, we really have only three hidden words. I think it's Six M, Silver Glade, and the Forgotten Grotto. And I don't really think there's other that really come to mind right now. And those are basically do two are from base game and one is from the first expansion pack. And we never saw other hidden words ever after those. I would like to see these hidden words come back in some way. Either in a pack, it would be very nice to have like a hidden secret like this. I think it could be very interesting. Or also just like a revamp of the one that we have in game already, just so that it makes more sense for people to go there. Because as of right now, you don't really have a reason to go to the Forgotten Grotto or to the Simian Glade. So expanding on those, I think, is a very interesting idea. We also need more animations that show consequences for action, emotion, traits, and choices. I think that's a an issue that a lot of people talk about, the fact that we have emotions in The Sims, but then the emotions don't really change a lot of what you feel. It is something that has, like, there's a few things that change. For example, the way your Sims walk around when they feel different emotions, or some interactions do change, but overall there isn't the biggest change with those when there are in place. Of course, most of the times your sims are hopefully going to be fine or happy, so they shouldn't feel any different, but when they feel sad, yeah, they do tend to go cry in the bed and they do walk around a little slumped, but there isn't a big improvement. I think that's something that they could work on to make it a little bit more interesting. This person said more romantic interactions like different proposal, snuggling on the bed, Different kisses, online dating, and a romantic chemistry feature. I have been around the, you know, the, the, the backlogs of the forums and the, the reddits, so I know there's rumors that there is a, a pack coming out that it's about this, so hopefully that is going to be taken care of with a base game update slash this pack. So we will see what happens, I really don't know much about it, if there is any information about it honestly even, but I've heard through the grapevines that there should be something along the lines coming through soonish, I don't know if this year or next year, for The Sims 4. A refresh of major features like clubs, lifestyles and holidays to add more options for activities, symbols, crosspass promotion, etc. That's very good. Actually, because as of right now, for example, clubs, I feel like are kind of limited to what the game was when Get Together came out. So they could definitely be improved. And I think that's something that I need to work on a little better as well, just in general with the game, when they have a new feature that is in a pack and they have new packs, they need to do some cross interaction that's a little bit more nuanced. As of right now, we don't really see it all the time. We do see it sometimes. For example, I think the vampire slash werewolf thing when werewolves came out, I think that was great. Very well done. We got a lot of interactions with uh, vampires and spellcasters, a lot of lore and information. Very great. We need more of that. Eliminate these open neighborhoods that have been introduced in recent packs that lead to an MP war feeling. Now, this is an issue that I saw as well. A lot of people really want the open world feeling of The Sims 3. I wasn't the biggest fan of open world personally, but I understand that you want to feel that kind of vibes. So recently, with the latest words, The Sims team have been going with this more kind of look. If you go around Tomarang, which is the latest word that we got with for rent, there are a lot of open world areas where there's like a big plaza and you walk around it and there's the huge market and all of that. It's nice, but it's just decorative, so your sims can just walk around it. It's also an issue, I think, in um, Sequoia, San Sequoia, 
um, that's also something that you feel there. Uh, there's these big spaces where your sims can walk and jog and you know, ride a bike, but there's really not much to do. For example, a place where I think they did a great job with it, it's San Maishuno, where there is open areas where like a big plaza, where there's technically nothing to do, technically, but those are the places where you get the festivals. So there is stuff to do when there's a festival going on. So I think there needs to be a little bit more of a connection there. So a lot of people are asking for disability representation, and I'm honestly, I'll be honest, I'm kind of shocked that we got any at all with the medical wearables that we got with the free update for uh, growing together. They're not what a person usually thinks of maybe when you think about a disability, but those are disability aids, so there is that. I'm gonna put it out there, the Sims team has done that, so there is some disability representation in game as well. And technically speaking, glasses are a disability aid, so there's also that. But I don't know if people are talking about expanding that, obviously. Uh, wheelchairs, canes, uh, walking sticks, uh, mobility aids, and a lot more that people are asking for, maybe even prosthetics and such. But the team really needs to focus on these. They cannot half-ass it in any, any, any way. And especially I know disabilities are a little controversial around, because I know some people are saying, I don't want them because I'm disabled in real life and I do not want that in the game because I want to escape real life. And I can understand that, but also at the same time people are like, I am disabled in real life and I do want to represent myself the way I am, so I want it. So uh, obviously, uh, me not, I'm not disabled, so I cannot really say which of the, these theories is better. Um, so obviously let me know in the comments what you think, uh, if you think disabilities are something that we could see be more implemented in the future for The Sims 4, or if it's something that you think it's done and that's the most that we're gonna get. So this person said, I want the color wheel back in Kaz. We got lots of skin tones and customizable makeup, but we need more swatches for everything. Just more everything, more variety of skin details, not just two type of freckles, different kind of medical wearables, more tattoos. I want my Sims to feel unique easily without overloading my game with mods. And I totally get that. And I think they are starting to kind of do that, especially with the recent updates, especially after growing together, I think they're doing that a little bit more and more in depth. And if you do own all load of packs, which I know it's a lot of money, there is a decent amount of variable, variable things that you can use. I think right now the things that we're missing the most is the tattoos. We really don't have that many, but I also understand it's not really easy to just have every tattoo ever that exists, but I think there could be more. This person says, stop surgery scars for all sims regardless of gender and body frame. That is very true, we only can use them if you have, I think... Um, no, actually right now I think they fixed it and now both masculine frames and um, feminine frames should be able to use them. But only if they're set as a male sim and not if there's a this I'm not really sure exactly how they work, but I know, I know they don't work for everybody. And a binder that actually goes on under clothes and pints the chest inside what they gave us, which is basically a tank top, I also agree with that. Um, I, I really appreciate them adding um, this kind of representation, especially with the items of clothing. They did add the, the binder, and also I think padded uh, underwear, if I'm not mistaken which is great, great addition, but both of those things is not something that goes under clothes, so it doesn't change the shape of the body, which is what they're supposed to do. They're just aesthetic, and your sims cannot wear anything over them, which doesn't make much sense to me. And I think we can move on to the next question now. Obviously, there was a lot of other questions, so if you're interested to know more, let me know in the comments down below. I can let you know what other people were thinking or other, like, I, I just talked about what the major things that I saw. Uh, but we could go more in depth in the comments or maybe in another video if you want. But my other question was also very interesting and it was, what's something that could be added that might make you change your mind if you answered no in the beginning? And in this case, I've seen again a few main topics. Bug fixes are obviously the main one. Uh, seeing with more gameplay, I feel like a lot of people were asking for better, more in-depth gameplay. 
and refreshes, I've seen a few people mention those, more meaningful changes when you are owning a new DLC is, and generally more playtesting for the game. So for example, this person says nothing really because my issue with the game right now are the bugs. So example, bug fixing is the main reason that this person doesn't enjoy The Sims 4 to its fullest. So that's definitely something that I could see the developer having to work on to see the game actually work and more gameplay. So again, we are talking about bug fixes and more in-depth gameplay. That's especially another issue that I've seen a lot of people talk about that they feel like The Sims 4 gameplay feels a little empty, a little less personal than in other previous games, and a little less random as well. I feel like The Sims 4 is decently random as a game, I don't super agree with that part, but I can understand the feeling of gameplay being less impactful on the way your Sims live their life. This person says they just need to fix the game, do pack updates like Spotty, so again with refreshes as we're saying, bug fixes, pronouns to be available in languages other than English, which is an issue that they haven't really talked about honestly. They promised pronouns for all languages. I know they said that it would take a little bit more longer for other languages, but at this point I think it's uh, more than a year, right? maybe two years even. And I understand French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, those are kind of hard to implement because there is a lot of changes to the words that happen. Uh, for example, me being Italian, I know that the Italian language is super gendered. Every noun, even objects, are gendered. So it is harder to implement something like that when you are going to change every, basically every word uh, in a pop-up because not only the subject changes but also all the adjectives towards the subject do change and other words also do change which is a lot. There's a lot of things that you need to take into consideration. You could change the language a little bit and like, like kind of use some other symbols, maybe you could use an asterisk, I know. Um, in Italian right now a lot of people use asterisks when they don't want to use a masculine or a feminine specifically. So there are ways to like go about it. Um, so I understand it's taken a long time, but at this point we haven't gotten any updates about it. So that's kind of where we are at. And as I'm saying, personality in depth and fixing for the game, fixing broken packs, bug fixes for all current packs and kits, this is mainly the issue, I think, right now for The Sims 4, and there needs to be far more extensive playtesting before anything is released. Very, very fair criticism of the game right now. And I think that's kind of the sentiment that's going about The Sims 4. So if you are a Sims 4 player, right now it is the period of time where this is a very transitional moment where people are like, yeah, I like the game, but I'm like also kind of scared to play it because it might break and destroy everything that I've ever made. <laughs> so it is a weird time, I think, for Sims 4 players. But why did I make this video? Basically, I wanted just to see your opinions, obviously, about The Sims 4 and what you think could be improved. And obviously, I want this video to reach EA and developers so that they know what they need to work on to please a little bit of the people. Because if they listen to what the people really are asking for, which is right now is bug fixes, they could obviously try and work on those. I obviously, this is a long, 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 long shot because first and first, I don't think EA is going to watch my videos, but also because I don't think um, it's that easy to just say, hey, fix your game and the game is fixed. Like there's a lot of work that has to go behind it. And obviously I know they're working on other projects like other expansion packs for The Sims 4, there's teams working on Sims 5 and Project Rene and whatever. So it's not really something that I can just say, oh, do that and do it and they are gonna do it. But I just wanted to bring it up so that they know. There's just so, hey, these are some ideas. Hey, some ideas for you. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, subscribe, leave a like, everything. All my links are down below in the description as well. And if you subscribe, don't forget to just check in every once in a while because I love to do this kind of videos where I ask your opinions on Google Forms. And Google Forms are completely anonymous, so you just have to 
just let me like write everything anything that you want and I will never see your name so you don't have to give me any information any names anything and I like just I just want to know your opinions uh, so I might do more videos like this ones in the future so keep an eye out and I guess this is it bye bye